It is important to have the right programs on your Windows computer. Boost your productivity to the next level with this must-have Windows programs. Let's start by debloating Windows. We will start by removing the news and interest from the toolbar. This does improve performance if you have a slow computer or slow internet connection. You can hide the Meet app as it's not necessary if you're not using it. I also like to make the search box a search icon. If you're not going to use the Mail app, you can remove that from your toolbar as well. Let's move on to our programs and let's just type in remove apps on your search and to be directed straight to, to this window. If you're not using Office, you can remove that. It usually comes with your Windows. If you're going to use it, you can just sign in. Same with the Xbox apps. If you're not using it, you can remove it. If you're going to use Windows Defender to make sure that it's updated and all those notifications has been ticked, you can just dismiss all those and turn on your app and browser control. You can also do a quick scan, but if you're just setting up, I don't I wouldn't say it's necessary. Let's move on to our browsers. Windows 10 and 11 comes with Edge, but I prefer um, Google Chrome. So let's download Google Chrome. For this step, straightforward as you can see, you just type in Google Chrome into your browser. Chrome is known for its speed and simplicity, and it has a vast array of extensions. Chrome offers a seamless experience. and go straight to the download. If it doesn't download, just click on download Chrome manually. Click on the link and that should start the installation pro process. Google Chrome comes with multiple apps such as YouTube, YouTube Music, Google Drive, um, Google Calendar and much more and it allows you to Synchronize with your Android cell phone. You can sign in, but I'm not going to sign in. At this stage, you can use Google Chrome without signing in. Next up, we'll use Google Chrome. And I'm just going to show you the process of downloading Firefox if you do prefer Firefox. Same process, type in Firefox and search for the, for the download. There you go. There it gives you the option to select the type of browser and the platform you want. So you just select the default which is Windows and 64-bit. Just showing you there where your downloads would be by default. All your programs and files you downloaded from the internet would lay under downloads. You can change that if you would want to, but I just prefer that using the download folder. It just makes it much more simpler. There it gives you an option between standard and custom, but I always go with the default. You can just untick the launch and then you can just um, set it on your taskbar or not. It already left a shortcut on the desktop. There it's asking you again to put it to the taskbar to make it your default browser and to import any data from your previous browser. You can skip that step and you can skip that as well. Now you can start browsing. So there you have it. Next up we'll use Firefox and we'll download a PDF um, reader program. I prefer Adobe. It's essential for viewing and printing PDF documents. It's free and trusted by millions worldwide for its reliability and comprehensive PDF features. You can just remove, install McAfee security over there. I 
lot of your newer devices, laptops and desktops, if you do buy them with Windows pre-installed, you would get McAfee already installed and sometimes they'll give you a uh, subscription. Same with Norton, it's usually one of the two. But in my experience, I've just noticed they slow your PC down so much and I haven't experienced any problems with Microsoft's Defender. So I just prefer to use it as it doesn't really slow down the computer. So usually I'll just uninstall that as well if there's McAfee or Norton on the computer pre-installed and usually after the subscription is done it will bug you with pop-ups asking you to subscribe and buy a new subscription. There is a pro version of Adobe which allows you to edit PDF documents, um, change them from PDF to Word or Excel. So if you did want the extra, extra functionality you would need to subscribe for a pro version. Next up, I'm just showing you how to set the default app. Type in to the search default apps, click on the first link and it will take you to this screen where it will show all your default apps for all the different programs like web browser would be Edge, you can change it to Chrome or Firefox. But if you want to set it by the file type, you just click on that link and you can then choose the specific file type and link it to a specific program. So in this case, we are looking for PDFs and we'll link it to Adobe. And there it's already been set as, a, um, as Adobe. Next up, I'm just pinning the snip and sketch, which is just a, a snipping tool to the taskbar, which makes it much more easier to access. This, this comes pre-installed with your Windows, so no need to download. So next up, VLC. VLC plays most of your video and audio files and it's a much better program than the default program that comes with Windows. So I always prefer to download VLC. You can download it via the browser or as you see here, we've just done it via the Microsoft Store. So it plays most of your files, MP3, MP4s, all of those. Now we're just looking at a, a program to open up our Word documents, Excel documents. If you don't have a subscription for Microsoft, you do get a, a free period with Microsoft, but that also just causes problems if you don't have the subscription. So I want to download something like WPS and that will just make it much easier as it's free. Just showing you how to download some other programs if you wanted Netflix or Spotify, they're all on the Microsoft Store app. There's many more if you are looking for them, just search. Once you've installed your programs, you can just drag them here on your start bar and arrange, arrange them for easy access. That is just optimizing Windows for you. So you, you could sign into this WPS office but you can also use it without signing in. It has lots of features and it allows you to open Word documents, PowerPoint slides, Excel documents and even PDFs. Let's just create a shortcut. Over there I'm just also showing you 
that Windows does allow you to extract document zipped files by default so you don't have to download a program to do unzip files but if you did want to I usually go with WinRAW and you do you can use it for free but it does uh, it does usually just pop up with a disclaimer when you're using it which makes it a, a bit of a pain but it still works fine. I'm just showing you how to extract the document using WinRAW. There's a pop up. You can change the file location, press OK, and the, your file will be extracted. So, this is just the optional step. If you wanted to use the default app that comes with Windows, that will be fine. There's a lot of games uh, if you're looking for games on the Microsoft Store, as you can see over there. If you are looking for free games, you just look for the free tab over there and there's all your free games listed on there. But if you want to stream games, I usually go with Steam. If you have other streaming apps you do use and prefer, mention it in the comments. But this is the one I use and prefer. This is if you are a gamer. If you're not, you can just skip this part. You can sign in over there, but we won't be doing that today. So let's just move on to our next step. If you want to back up your files, Dropbox is a good option. Just check out the, there's many more such as Google Drive. OneDrive also has a free subscription. I think it's like five, you get five gigs free. I think the same with Dropbox. Yeah, I just have to confirm that. If there's any other cloud storage apps that you guys prefer, you can just mention it in the comments. But as you can see over there, there's OneDrive, which also says it's free. Next up would be Zoom. If you want to do video calls and video meetings, Zoom is a good program to use. Google Chrome also allows you to do the same thing. If you have a team subscription, you can use Teams. There's many more, it usually just depend on the people you are doing video calls with or meetings. They'll usually tell you which app to use. This is just a bonus that I want to show you. So this is called the Quad folder. If you want all your settings in one place, follow along as I create the Quad mode folder. Just 
just copy and paste that. I'll put it in the link for you guys. Link over there, rename the folder and paste it into there. So now you see the apps, that folder has changed and now you'll see all the settings that you are able to do on your Windows computer is listed under one place. That just makes it so much easier. Just make sure that you restart your computer and apply all the updates. If you wanted to do it manually, just type in updates and then you'll see you can go straight from there to updates. If you don't have the little notification on your toolbar, like you saw there, you could just um, schedule an update. Thanks for watching.